Earlier this week, I had the great honour of helping to launch the all-new online digital film archive from Northern Ireland Screen. And here it is. It's a treasure trove of documentaries, dramas, newsreels and more. In fact, more than 80 hours of moving images from Northern Ireland from 1897 to 2014. And all within a click of a button. I wanted to show you some of the highlights from the Digital Film Archive, and this is certainly one. This is a new edition. This is from the Blackburn-based cinema pioneers Mitchell and Kenyon, and it's a tram ride through Belfast in 1901, right at the beginning of the 20th century. So this is extraordinary to see this. What I love about this when you watch it is not only are you taken by the awnings and the advertising for Hudson Soap and there's the Ormo Road tram, the amount of people on the street, but I love the bicycles, especially the bicycles in Belfast at the moment when bicycles are coming back into the city. And here we are in 1901 with bicycles on the streets of Belfast. Amazing. Now the thing about archive is it's incredibly personal and what you end up looking for in this archive is your town, your street, your family. And I am mesmerized by this footage here. It's called Belfast Harbour Scenes 1954 and it features the workers of Harlan and Wolf leaving work, walking towards the camera. And why am I fascinated by this? Well, my late father worked in Harlan and Wolf at this very time. So I find myself, through the cloth caps, the sea of faces in this, looking for my dad. As filmmakers, we're always standing on the shoulders of giants, and whether it be the Lumiere brothers who first brought cinema to Belfast, who are in this archive, but also the Spence brothers, uh, twin brothers Noel and Roy Spence from Cumber, who made an extraordinary amount of films in the 50s, 60s and 70s. Genre pictures, horror, sci-fi. And my favourite is Brady's Bargain, about a crafty leprechaun. So as well as documentaries on this archive, there is drama. There's real fun, and this is one of the jewels. Of course, what I'm delighted about is a series that I made for BBC Northern Ireland called Super 8 Stories, which ran from 2003 to 2006, is included in the digital film archive. And one of my favourite stories was about James McMeekin, who was a milkman in Newton Ards. And his two sons decided on his last day as a milkman, after 60 years, that they would film their father as he went to work. And this is an extraordinary film. And here is James McMeekin, milkman extraordinaire, going to work on his final day as a milkman. This is one of my favorite moments from the archive with James McMeekin. Look, giving the milk over to a customer. She gives him a tip, but I love the wee tip on the chin she gives him here. Now watch this. Ah, look at that. A wee tap on the chin for his last day at work. Now, what I loved about this story is the milk float itself ended up in the Ulster Folk and Transport Museum. Um, and what we see later on in the film is long after he had hung up his cloth cap, James used to go to the Ulster Folk and Transport Museum and sit in the milk float. And there he is, sitting in his own milk float in the museum. Amazing footage. So there you go. If you're from Camlock or Coleraine, Bangor or Balik, there's something for you in this digital film archive. It's currently only available in the UK, but they are looking to roll this out across the world. For me, the digital film archive allows us to explore our past, understand our present, but most importantly, build a new future together. <laughs>